for the element 2, ang lalagay natin is positive. This is positive 2. So, ang i-delete natin is yung row and column kung nasa nakabilang si element na 2. Hi everyone, this is S. Davis Matt and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss the basics of determinants. So, without further ado, let's begin. Every n times n matrix A is associated with a real number called the determinant of A. So, the determinant is written as this symbol. Merong dalawang vertical bars, magkabilang side, and yung nasa gitna is yung A. In this tutorial video, we are going to show how to evaluate determinants of square matrices, providing mathematical justification as we proceed. Let's start with the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix. If we have given a matrix, say, A, B, C, and D, then the solution to solve for the determinant of this matrix is this way. Paano ba nagiging ganyan? So, meron tayong pattern na kapag pababa na ganyan, this is positive, and pataas sa ganyan, this is negative. Meron tayong positive sign dito, and meron tayong negative sign dito. So, kung napapansin natin, we have AD. Ang AD na yan is, Susundan lahat ng incline line which is pababang arrow from A to D. So, this is positive. And this is A times D. Positive. And next is yung pataas naman. We have C and B. So, we have C times B and this is negative. This is how we evaluate or, or solve a determinant of a matrix. Take note. Ang difference ng matrix and determinant, yung matrices natin are enclosed with square brackets. So, pag ganito yung kanyang symbol, say matrix of A. And determinants naman are denoted with vertical bars. So, ganito nga yan. Determinant of A. A matrix is an array of numbers but the determinant is a single number. Example number 1. Find the determinant of a given matrix. We have negative 3, 4, 6, and 8. So, to solve for that, let's write the determinant of A. This is equal to negative 3, 4, 6, 8. Again, this is a bracket kasi matrix pa natin siyang consider And then, sinosolve na natin yung determinant. So, ginawa na natin dalawang vertical bar. So, solving, we have, umpisan muna natin sa lahat ng pababa. So, from negative 3 to 8. This is positive, negative 3 times 8, and positive yung kanilang sign. And next, yung pataas naman, we have 6 and 4. So, this is positive 6 times positive 4, and this is a negative quantity. Dahil pataas, according to the pattern. So, solving, the determinant of A is equal to negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. 6 times 4 is positive 24 times negative 1. This is negative 24. Finally, the determinant of A now is equal to negative 48. And this is example number 1. Example number 2. Find again the determinant of the given matrix. We have 2 over 3, 1, 2, and 3. Same way ang gagawin natin for the determinant A. This is equal to 2 over 3, positive 1. Positive 2 and positive 3. And again, this is equal to, start muna tayo sa pababa. Ito, yung una. This is positive. So, we have 2 over 3 times 3. Pataas naman. This is negative. Positive, negative. Positive 2 times positive 1 and ang quantity na to is again negative nga. So solving, 2 over 3 times 3, so makakancel ito. This is 2 na lang positive. 2 times 1 is 2 negative. So this is negative 2. The value for the determinant A natin now is equal to 2 minus 2 is 0. So this is the answer for example number 2. For the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix, if we have given a matrix of 3 by 3, ayan, in your screen. So, to solve for the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix, we are going to solve it this way. Same lang siya ng pag-solve from 2 by 2 natin, kaya lang mas mahaba, mas madami, mas complicated. 
Susundin pa rin natin yung pababang arrow is positive and yung pataas na arrow is negative. Let's start here. A, E, I. Positive yan. Positive to. And next, para hindi tayo malito, so ilagay ulit natin dito yung ADG, column ADG. So this is BFG, another pababang arrow na positive BFG. And idagdag ulit natin yung BEH. So this is C, D, at saka H, pababang arrow. So this is positive, ito yan. And next, tapos na tayo sa lahat ng pababa. Sa pataas naman tayo, we have GEC, ito yan. And this is negative. So, ito siya. And we have H, F, and A. And yan. Pataas ulit. And negative. Ito siya. And lastly, for I, B, and B. Ito yan. Pataas ulit. So, this is negative. Example number 3. Find the determinant of the given matrix. We have 3, 0, negative 1, 4, 6, 2, 8, negative 2, and 3. To solve for that, the determinant A... Is equal to, rewrite natin, we have 3, 4, 8, 0, 6, negative 2, negative 1, positive 2, and positive 3. For the determinant, susundan natin yung arrow na puro pababa mo na gagawin natin. We have 3, 6, 3, pababa, and this is positive. 3 times 6 times 3. Another, ilagay ulit natin yung 3, 4, 8 dito para lang hindi tayo malito. 3, 4, 8. Para pag sinundan natin ng line pababa, this is positive. And we have 0 times 2 times 8. Another positive, magsa-start tayo sa negative 1. Sulat ulit natin yung second column. We have 0, 6, and negative 2. From 1 to 4 to 2. Pababa, this is positive, negative 1, times 4, times negative 2. And next, tapos na tayo sa lahat ng pababa. Sa pataas naman tayo, starting from 8, going to 6, and lastly for negative 1. This is negative 8, times 6, times negative 1. Ito yung negative sa labas. Another, from negative 2 and positive 2 hanggang positive 3. This is negative ulit. Negative 2 times 2 times 3. Quantity. And lastly, from 3 to 4 to 0. This is negative ulit. We have 3 times 4 times 0. Next, since nagawa na natin yung unang part ng solution, solve natin isa-isa para hindi tayo malito. For this part, 3 times 6 times 3 is positive 54. Next, we have 0 times 2 times 8. Obviously, this is 0. And next, we have negative 1 times 4 times negative 2. This is positive 8. And next, 8. Times 6 times negative 1. This is negative 48. And meron pa tayong negative doon. Minus negative 2 times 2 times 3. This is negative 12. Minus 3 times 4 times 0 is 0. So, i-compute na natin. The determinant A now is equal to 54 plus 0 plus 8 minus negative 48. Minus negative 12 minus 0 is equal to 122. So this is the determinant for the given matrix in example number 3. In order to fully understand the determinant, let's define the minors and cofactors of a square matrix. Let A be a square matrix of order n times n. The minor n. Or the M of, let's say, IJ of the element is the determinant of the matrix obtained when the i row and the j column of A are deleted. Well, the cofactor of the element is given by this formula. Paano ba natin i-differentiate yung minor and cofactor? Let's take example number 4. Given a matrix, find the minor and cofactor of the element A11. Pag sinabi natin A11, this is the first row. And this is the first column. 
Ibig sabihin, ang first row natin dito is eto and this is our first column. Ibig sabihin na ang kanilang intersection is yung 1. A11 or A11 is equal to 1. Ito yung define natin yung minor and cofactor ng element na 1. For minor, say M of 1, 1. To solve for the minor of this chosen element, kukunin natin yung natira dun sa matrix na tinanggalan natin ng first row and first column. So, ang tinilit natin sa matrix is yung first row, eto nga yun, and the first column, this one. So, ang natira is negative 1, negative 2, 0, and 3. And same way, para makuha natin yung minor, ang gagawin nating process is yung process when we are evaluating the determinant. Ito yun, it is positive. Positive, negative 1 times positive 3. And pataas, this is negative. We have negative 2 times 0. Solving for the minor of 1, 1. Minor of 1, 1 now is equal to, this is negative 3. Minus, negative 2 times 0 is 0. Minor of the element A11 or minor of 1 is equal to negative 3. This is the minor. For the cofactor naman, we will use the formula. The cofactor of 1, 1 or the first row and first column, which is yung 1 natin, we have the formula negative 1 raised to i plus j times minor of the element. Ang i natin is yung row and ang j natin is eto. This is the i and this is the j. Cofactor of 1, 1 is equal to negative 1. Ang i natin is 1. Ang j natin is 1 din. Times the minor, negative 3. Cofactor of the first row and first column now is equal to negative 1 raised to 2 na yan. So, negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1 times negative 3. Cofactor now is equal to negative 3. Same sila ng value. Pero, hindi pa laging pareho ng value ang cofactor and ang minor ng isang element. Let's take example number 5. Given again the same matrix from the example number 4, find the minor and cofactor of the element a, third row, and second column, or a simply 3, 2. Ang third row natin is this one. Delete natin tong row na to. And ang second column natin is etong line na to. Ibig sabihin, ang element natin na a, 3, 2 is equal to negative 2. And to solve for the minor first, minor of 3, 2 is equal to the determinant of 1, 4, 2, and 0. Solving for the minor, same process again from evaluating of determinant. 1 times 0, and this is positive, del pababa, and 4 times 2, this is negative, pataas. 1 times 0 is obviously 0, minus 4 times 2 is 8. Minor of 3, 2. Or the minor of the third row and second column is equal to negative 8. For the cofactor naman of 3, 2 is equal to, form, same formula ang gagamitin natin, we have negative 1 raised to 3 plus 2. Ang i natin is ito and ang j natin is ito times the cofactor negative 8. Cofactor of 3, 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 is 5. We have negative 1 raised to 5 times negative 8. It is C, 3, 2 equals negative 1 raised to 5 is negative 1 times negative 8. The value of the cofactor of the third row and second column is equal to positive 8. So, if we can notice... The cofactor is simply the minor multiplied by either 1 or negative 1 depending on whether yung i plus j natin is even or odd. Therefore, 
pwede nating sundan yung sine pattern for matrices and obtain the cofactor by multiplying the minor with the appropriate sign, either positive 1 or negative 1. So, ito ang ating sign pattern. We have already discussed the determinants, the minors, as well as the cofactors. If we are given a 3 by 3 matrix, for example, the determinant of this matrix can also be calculated using the expansion of determinant. So, it is important to know that any row or column can be used. Typically, the row or column with the most zeros is selected because it makes the arithmetic simpler. Expansion of determinant, this is the combination of the definitions of minors, cofactors, and the determinant. So, we now give a general definition for the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. For example, given a matrix, and ang gagawin natin is expand natin yung row 1. For row 1 expansion, Ito ang magiging process. For row 1, this is our row 1. We have A1, B1, and C1. So, to expand the row 1, i-multiply natin yung elements na nakapaloob dun sa row 1, which is A1, B1, C1, dun sa minors natin. And for example, lang A1 natin, isa yan, i-multiply natin siya dun sa minors, which is, ito yung ating intersection na A1. So, i-delete natin yung column kung saan siya nakabilang, and yung row kung saan siya nakabilang, and natira is, B2, C2, B3, C3, which is ito yun. And again, we will follow the sign pattern dito. So, positive yung una natin, and next is negative, positive. For B1, again, this is negative na kasi according to the pattern or the formula na gagawin natin for cofactor. I-delete again natin yung row kung saan kasama si B1 and yung column na kasama rin siya. And ang matitira sa atin na minor is yung a2, C2, ito yan, A, A3, and C3. Same process with C1. For the column expansion naman, this is the process. Ang column 1 natin is ito. Same ang gagawin natin kung i-expand natin again. So, pareho sila na magiging value whichever row or column is expanded. An alternating sign scheme is used, yung pinakita natin kaninang sign pattern. Notice that in either of the expansions above, for example, yung 2 by 2 determinant natin obtained is found by crossing out the row and column containing the element that is multiplying the determinant. Again, using this process, the expansion of determinant, we can evaluate the value of the determinant of any given matrix. Example number 6, given a 3 by 3 matrix, expand the determinant by first row. In the matrix, ang first row natin of course is yung eto, we have 2, 1, and 3. In expansion, we just have to remember the alternating sign. First, the positive, negative, positive, and so on. So let's write first the determinant of A equals 2, 1, 3, negative 1, 5, negative 2, negative 3, 7, and positive 4. For the element 2, ang lalagay natin is positive. This is positive 2. So, ang i-delete natin is yung row and column kung nasa nakabilang si element na 2. So, ito yan. Delete it. Delete. Delete. And ang natira sa atin na minors are itong 5, negative 2, 7, and 4. Next sign is negative na. And 1 naman yung ating element. So, for the element 1, we will delete the first row and the second column. And ang matitira sa atin is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and positive 4. For the last element, 3, ang sign na natin dito is from negative, positive ulit tayo. This is positive 3. Di delete natin yung first row and yung third column. So, ang matitira sa atin is negative 1. 5, negative 3, and positive 7. Na-expand na natin yung 3 by 3 determinants natin into 2 by 2 determinants. So, solving for the value of this determinant, same process ang gagawin natin. Lagay natin yung positive 2 here. And yung pababa mo na dito, this is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative. So, let's start with this. 5 times 4. This is positive. And 7 times negative 2. 
negative yan, minus 1, and this is negative 1 times 4, positive, minus, yung pataas na, negative 3, times negative 2, plus 3, negative 1, times 7, minus, negative 3, times positive 5. Simplifying, we have 2 times 5 times 4 is 20 minus 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 times negative sign is positive 14 minus 1, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 minus negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 times the negative sign is negative 6 plus 3, negative 1 times 7 is negative 7 Negative 3 times positive 5 is negative 15 times the negative sign positive 15. Simplifying again, this is 20 plus 14 is 34. So 2 times 34. Negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. This is negative 1 times negative 10 plus 3. Negative 7 plus 15 is positive 8. This is 2 times 34 is 68. Negative 1 times negative 10 is positive 10. 3 times 8 is 24. The determinant of A natin now is equal to 102. So, this is another way of evaluating the determinant. Kung gagamitin natin is yung column expansion, say column 1, we have itong part na to, ang i-expand natin, the same answer ang may evaluate natin for this determinant. And this is example number 6.